Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, February 28th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. A little bit over a week ago, the Department of Justice published a press release stating that they actually took action against a botnet that infected home routers in the US. Apparently, this botnet was associated with the Russian intelligence services, and it specialized in infecting ubiquity edge routers that were still configured with the default password of UBNT. So username and password were both UBNT, which is the default username and password for most equipment made by Ubiquiti, like for example, their cameras, switches, routers, typically start out with this username and password. Now, the press release didn't state exactly when this happened, but they also said that they got the uh, court order that allowed them to do this uh, in January. There was also a redacted copy of the court order. Also, didn't really exactly say which exact commands they ran to then later block reinfection. Apparently, they were adjusting firewall rules for that. And uh, also, how many of these bots were exactly eliminated. But I took a look at our data to see if we saw any change in scanning for these default credentials, UBNT, UBNT, which are typical for Ubiquiti equipment. Well, it uh, turns out I didn't really see much of a change here. Now, uh, I looked at the number of uh, sources that are actually scanning for these credentials. They don't look like uh, they changed much at all. There is a small sort of drop if you sort of draw a linear regression, but it's uh, anything but significant. Also, if you're looking at the total number of uh, reports, there is a small drop, but it's a very odd a kind of spike around f- uh, January 26th, 27th, uh, which actually all originate from one particular IP address, uh, Google uh, Cloud IP address. So what does it really mean? Well, um, Hard to tell how much of the botnet was eliminated, but there are plenty of other actors that are scanning for these default credentials. So overall, the scanning activity was not reduced. Uh, The uh, attacks are still occurring. And uh, yes, that botnet was probably just one of many that looked for these credentials. Also, while I was looking at this, I noticed that uh, Viata, uh, VIOS, uh, their default credential actually uh, kind of more calmly being used than uh, ubiquities. So that's another one of these somewhat irresponsible uh, manufacturers who deliver millions of devices with default credentials. Nation state actors have used uh, these type of attacks in the past. Uh, there was a famous one from a few years back in 2018. Uh, Kaspersky uh, reported about what they called the Slingshot APT, which went after Microtik routers. A number of government agencies today also released an advisory regarding this particular botnet. This advisory contains more technical details, like, for example, how to detect if you are compromised or not, what the exact malicious components are that are being installed by the botnet, and also how to recover your router, which pretty much comes down to a full reset of the router, which should clear things up. But well, uh, threat actors are not standing still. Uh, The UK National Cybersecurity Center did publish an advisory stating that SVR, cyber actors, SVR is part here of the uh, Russian intelligence services. So also related to the attack against uh, the routers and such are now actually more focusing on cloud resource, not so much on on on-premise networks again. The vulnerabilities are actually a little bit similar. Uh, They're looking for uh, dormant accounts, for example, that they could use for authentication, cloud-based token authentication. That's uh, always a tricky thing to get right, in particular if you're rushing out some of these cloud services. Definitely something to look at in particular. What I have uh, talked to uh, people a couple times the last few weeks is with uh, things uh, 
getting uh, pretty crazy around VMware. There are a lot of sort of rushed deployments from private cloud towards a public cloud. So uh, definitely pay attention, make sure authentication and such is configured correctly. And the incorrect configuration is really what's uh, being exploited here. Well, and talking about things being rolled out maybe a little bit too quickly and without the necessary security precautions, machine learning is certainly one of these things. And JFrog is reporting that they see the malicious hacking face machine learning model uh, being inadvertently deployed here. It includes a silent backdoor. The tricky thing with these machine learning models is that they're often arriving as a pickle file, basically one of these Python bytecode files, and that's then being run on the system in order uh, to execute the particular model. Well, with that, of course, an attacker, if they can make you execute a malicious model, they're able to execute arbitrary code. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.